TRNA, MRNA, RRNA. 5 to 10 points about each of them. You need to be sure. First, have that mental picture of how TRNA is. Clover leaf model is what you need to remember. It has got one 3 end. 3 end is the acceptor end. Right? So, it accepts the amino acid. Amino acid come and sits on the top of the elephant is the Raja. Right? Where does it sit? 3 end. Not on the 5 end. You must know where to sit on the top of elephant. Then you have an anticodon which will be reading mRNA. Am I the right person who is called for interview or not? It will keep reading. It has got one D arm, it has got TC arm. We will talk about each of them. How many nucleotides are there in TRNA, doctor? 75 to 90 nucleotides. In its secondary structure, it is a clover leaf form. Anticodon end is opposite to three amino acyl end. And all TRNAs, both eukaryotic and also prokaryotic, they both have got a CCA end. It has totally how many nucleotides? It is an RNA. It is a combination of a set of nucleotides. So, and it will have 5 and 3 n, just like DNA, RNA have got a 5 and 3 n. They have a CCA end where uh, amino acids come and sit. So, CCA can carry amino acids, CCA. Okay. Then, how are the amino acids come and sit on the CCA end? Uh, they become covalently bound. It is not a loose relationship. It is not a one night stop. Right? So, they are covalently bound to the 3 end, not 5 end of the tRNA is what you need to remember. Then what is T-arm? T-arm contains the T-arm. You have got this T-arm, right? So, it basically contains thymine, pseudouridine, cytosine. Why is this required? What is the function of it? Basically, tRNA has to coordinate with the mRNA and go and sit. All this happens in a ribosome. So, it requires binding to the ribosome. So, for that it requires one arm to hold the wall and you have that arm which is called T-arm. Then what is D-arm? D-arm contains dihydrouracil residues. Why they are required? Basically, the tRNA gets loaded with one amino acid which it carries. Right? For that you require amino acyl tRNA synthetase. That amino acyl tRNA synthetase has to recognize a right tRNA. Whether it is a right tRNA or not is decided by the D arm. Right? D arm directs the amino acyl tRNA synthetase. I am coming to that image of tRNA, amino acyl tRNA synthetase. Where is the tRNA involved? Where is mRNA? Where is the ribosome? They are all images for that. Uh, see, this is what I, we are talking. You have amino acids arriving, right? Uh, more appropriate image will be this one. Amino acid is arriving. This is the uh, the, 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 this is the enzyme tRNA amino acyl tRNA uh, synthetase. So tRNA comes and sits here, right? Amino acid is being loaded onto the CCA end, the other end, 3 end. And in the process, ATP get broken down into AMP, right? And tRNA high energy bond with the amino acid. Carrying that, the tRNA is now ready to go and read the mRNA. This is the story. So, that is the reason it has got a uh, uh, very important end called as uh, the D arm. It has a dihydrouracil residue. It helps the correct amino acyl tRNA synthetase to recognize the tRNA. You require the D arm. Then it has got a stem, acceptor stem. The 3 CCA end is there, you no, know, that is called acceptor stem, which 
receives the amino acid and make it sit on the top of it. That is the structure. Summarize, doctor. The three end is amino acid accepting site. T loop main function is basically to hold the ribosome. D on the idea is to direct the right amino acyl transferase to come and recognize it. TRNA transferase, and it has got an anticodon loop. This is the typical structure. Now let us talk about how the amino acid comes and sits on the tRNA, right? So the reaction of amino acid coming and attaching to the tRNA proceeds in two steps. In the first step, the amino acid which is going to come and sit, it need to be activated by consuming one ATP. Before going to surgery, our chief used to have a smoke and then he used to go for surgery. So like there is smoke is that ATP, charge. Amino acid is now ready. Okay, now time for surgery. Right? So, it consumes one ATP and uh, there is a, then it is transferred in the second step to the acceptor site of the tRNA, which is the 3 end. Now, doctor, charging of the tRNA is the most important process. Why? You got down in an airport, everybody's baggage will be coming. You must know which is your bag and carry it home. Otherwise, you carry the robber's bag. Already he robbed somebody's bag and then you are mistakenly taking it up and then you are caught by police because a robbed bag. Okay, you took a wrong bag, fine. But why did you pick up a robber's bag as a wrong bag? That is your punishment. So, how that is prevented? Because wrong amino acids come and sit. Wrong proteins get synthesized and unnecessarily those who are not studying for exam are becoming toppers. Those who are studying are forgetting everything and failing in exams. So, that should not happen. So, correct charging should occur. This amino acyl tRNA synthesis is like shadi.com. Single matching dot com. Single or double or triple whatever. Right. So, amino acyl tRNA synthetase is called matchmaker. Every matchmaker charges you. Your credit card is swiped. Uses ATP. And uh, it scrutinizes whether this is, is it the right amino acid meant for this tRNA to be charged or not? It will check. Who checks? Amino acyl tRNA synthetase. If it is not the right one, what it will do? If a wrong one is coming and sitting on the top of the tRNA, it will break that bond. The bond is hydrolyzed by the amino acyl tRNA synthesis. And the amino acid tRNA bond, it is formed by consuming one ATP. So, it has got energy, right? Then, uh, 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 so who is the most important thing that maintains a fidelity that the right amino acid is being attached to the tRNA? You should remember it is the matchmaker which is the amino acyl tRNA synthetase is what need to be basically remembered. Now, there is something called woobling which you should understand. So, what is meant by tRNA wobble? Whenever a for example, a leucine carrying tRNA has to come and uh, transfer its leucine into the protein chain means its codon, anticodon must match the codon on the mRNA. The rule is it need not match for all the three. Only the first two nucleotides, if it matches also, it is agreeable. Right? Like Alibaba, Chalice Chor. You remember the story? Sim Sim Kulja. Only two times it will say sim sim. It will not say sim 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 kulja. Right? In the story. So, opportunity knocks only twice. Not once. Twice in wobbling. And it is not required for it to knock thrice. Eh? So, that is called wobbling. Accurate base pairing is required only in the first two nucleotides. And the differing third position is called as the wobble pair. So, that is the reason even CU, CR, CUU, no problem. CU is there common, hence leucine shall be loaded. 
that is called wobbling is what need to be remembered because of this wobbling what has happened that led to the degeneracy of the genetic code what is the meaning of degeneracy two different codons can still be able to code for the same amino acid so a very common question asked is what property of the trna lead to the development of degeneracy of the genetic code it is a wobbling of the third position of the trna is responsible for the degeneracy of the genetic code now let's take up some uh, mcqs before we conclude the today's uh, marathon session doctor very good so what is covalently attached to trna during protein synthesis amino acids are covalently attached excellent you answer this question doctor you are great auto antibodies to amino acyl trna synthesis they are the match maker if auto antibodies are there against that match maker people get interstitial lung disease in which connective tissue disorder typically anti amino acyl trna synthetase antibodies are associated with you attended rheumatology classes no huh? what is your answer let me check srinivas is proposing polymyositis dermatomyositis please give one big clap to srinivas excellent doctor srinivas is doing very good when it comes to rheumatology a 22 year old girl he is having pustular acne and dermatologist prescribed an oral antibiotic what is the mechanism of that action of that uh, antibiotic first you must know which antibiotic is used for pustular acne if you don't know forget about the options okay i will tell you tetracycline what is the mechanism of tetracycline as an antibiotic unless something related to what we discussed i won't give this question come on give an answer huh question next question please give an answer doctor it prevents binding of the amino acyl trna is there no amino acyl loaded trna is there no that should first bind with ribosome using its tm that is prevented by your uh, tetracycline is what you have to basically understand so that is the story of uh, trna